Right, just a quick video today to show you how to fit our sun strips. We do a solo suspension one and a transport HQ one. Dead easy to fit. This van is our solo demo, so this is sitting on solos all the way up. So uh, we're going to fit the solo suspension sun strip to it, but obviously it's the same if it's the transport HQ one. They come out the box 30 centimetres, is it? 30 centimetres deep. Um, so you can have them really low, like you may have seen on Mikey's van, or you can have them a lot shallower. Uh, you just cut them to length kind of just getting the logo where you want it to sit on the van. So for this one, we're gonna go for a shallower version. So kind of the, the narrowest you can get it and the logo still sit in the middle. And then we'll show you how it's done and how it uh, turns out at the end. So one thing to be mindful of is on some of the higher spec vans, certainly the T6 and the T6.1, you have a rain sensor just here, uh, just the other side of your wing mirror. So a good tip to do that is you uh, stick something over there, uh, like a 50p piece or anything that covers the size of that, just blue tack it on when you put the wrap on and then you can cut round whatever you've put there, a coin or something, uh, and remove that and then that will give you your rain sensor without removing too much of the vinyl. The lower spec vans like my Ascot Grace uh, Startline 6.1, that doesn't have the rain sensor so it has never been an issue with that one. So as you can see here, we're using magnets to hold the sun strip in place while we're applying it. Um, you probably don't have these at home, so masking tape will do the job absolutely fine. Now, liquid solution wise, this is just a bit of water and baby shampoo or a small amount of fairy liquid or washing up liquid. It only needs a tiny drop just to help manoeuvre it. Um, don't be afraid to put water on there. The more water's on there, the more you have to squidge out, but you know, go sparingly with the water. A little a spray will just do it, will help you know, move it around before it sets and get it in place, and then just squeeze it out afterwards. So you have to excuse how dirty this one is, but this is the one we've got on the Ascot Grey start line. So we went a little bit deeper on this, so it kind of, you know, you can choose how the depth that you go. I'm a bit of a fanny, so I went a little bit shallower. Uh, and then if we go over to Mikey's van, he's kind of gone all out and gone uh, as deep as it possibly can go. Uh, but just be mindful that you have to duck every time you try to look at traffic lights. But yeah, so that's the HQ one on his. And he's gone proper deep with it, gangster. There you go. So that was it, just a quick video done. Plenty more videos to come. Uh, we're hopefully gonna get a couple more out next week. There's some stuff we filmed over lockdown and just after that just need putting together. A couple of new media guys joined us to help us along the way with some of the editing. So we'll try and get you some more content. As always, uh, like the video, subscribe, share it with your friends uh, and we'll continue to make many more. Thanks for watching.